Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can create and execute your first Cucumber scenario with Serenity Framework. So in the last lecture, we already discussed how you can set up your project with Serenity and Cucumber 4. So in case if you haven't watched that video, I would recommend you to watch my video where we discussed about, uh, you know, setting up the project in Eclipse. And in this video, we are mainly going to talk about how you can run your own test, not the sample one which is coming with Serenity. So we'll go ahead and create our first feature file. We'll write the scenarios within that feature file. And we are going to use page object model again. So we are going to create uh, pages. And once we're done with the pages, we'll write our step definition file. We'll execute that uh, step definition using test runner. And finally, we will execute this uh, test runner using Maven. So let's go ahead and let me switch back to Eclipse. This is what we had seen earlier. Now, guys, if you want to delete the existing folder packages, you can do that. Okay. But if you don't want to mess up with the older things, you can create everything from scratch. So I'm not going to make any changes. I, I will still follow the same search folder, which is coming. But in case if you want to create another folder, you can go ahead create another folder within feature files or sorry within this features folder and continue for the time being okay in the next lectures we will say if you want to create another folder for the time being let's create one file okay and i will follow one application guys uh, which is this one okay which is orange hrm site and we'll try to simply log in and log out don't focus on the scenarios scenarios you can automate any scenarios it's up to you which requirement you have what you want to automate my main focus is how you can use this framework okay so once you understand you can automate any complex scenarios as well and once you will uh, log into this application will verify whether you successfully logged in or not and in case if you want to implement sign out also you can take this as assignment and write the logout functionality okay so open Eclipse, go to that search folder and create your first feature file. I will say login to application. And I will give extension is dot feature. So automatically you can see it is coming some default um, feature file. And if you want take as a reference, you can take this as a reference. But if you don't want, control A and delete. Now, you can write the first feature. So, we will write only one feature as of now. And this feature I will consider as login uh, to HRM application. The application which we are using is orange HRM. So, I will say log into HRM then I will create my first scenario so I will say scenario colon and you can say the moment I am writing this gherkins it is already detecting these keywords so guys if you are completely new to cucumber I would again recommend you to watch my cucumber series where we discussed about gherkins keyword and other stuff as well so I'm assuming you are familiar with cucumber gherkins and everything so scenario says login with admin admin rights or I will say valid credentials okay now I can use uh, again Gherkins I will say given user is on home page let's say or dashboard page or any page which you can take as a verification that user is on the right page then or I will say when user enter admin as username I'm hard coding the data once we move forward we will parameterize this as of now let's focus on how we can use it Impl uh, parameter part we can see later user enter admin123 as password And finally, we'll write then user should be able to log in. This is what my requirement is. I just need to write a login scenario. 
and I just need to verify user is able to log in with their valid credentials or not. Once you are done, let's um, run as Cucumber feature. And the moment you run this, you can see we got the glue code. Okay, this is the glue code which we got. Now this is the glue code that we need to implement. So right now it says one scenario which is undefined, four steps which is undefined. And now we need to implement these missing steps. So just copy this and uh, you can go ahead, you can create your own packages. But as of now I'm using this uh, existing packages and now I will create our own step definition and I will say login to application. I will click on finish and I will simply copy paste the snippet which we got. And right now you can see it is not able to understand these keywords. So we need to tell that these are the actual, um, you know, the libraries which is coming from Cucumber. Now there's a small you know, hint here that in case if you are working with older versions, okay, then you can go with cucumber.api.java.in. Now if you're using Cucumber 4, always go ahead with io.cucumber, okay, just keep a note. So I will do the same thing for others. I will implement from io.cucumber since I want to work with uh, Cucumber 4. So we implemented all the missing steps, okay. And what you need to do, you just remove this unnecessary statements which we have. Okay, just take this, keep them blank. Okay, and uh, now if you notice one thing, that since I have written uh, admin123 here, right, admin123. So now it is um, expecting that you can pass this as a parameter. Okay, you can see it is an, uh, expecting uh, integer argument. So as of now, we are not playing with the arguments. Let's keep it very simple. So this is what the step definition we have. And now you can use this for the execution. Now we need to write the actual code here. So I just have to actually work with two pages. If you see, this is the home page, and when I log in, I will get the dashboard page, right? So I will create two pages now. Uh, one I will consider as a home page, which I will create a reference as a home. And right now it is giving me uh, error because this page does not exist, right? So that's fine. I will also create another page called dashboard page, which also does not exist. Uh, so it will also throw error for this as well. I will keep this as a home and dash. So let's create these pages. Now if you would want Eclipse to create this, what you can do, you can click on this option called create class. Okay. And now it will ask you in which package you want. So you can tell that I want in, um, if you select any specific page, okay, it will go ahead and create in that page. But if you don't want, let's assume that you want to create a new package. I have simply named as pages. Now I will ask Eclipse to create one home page class for me and keep that class in pages. Click on finish and this is done. Same thing I will do for another page, which is nothing but a Java class. I will ask Eclipse that create a class which is dashboard and create under pages package. Done. Now if you just save this file, it's done. So the first step you need to tell Serenity that these are my two steps. Okay, so there's a steps library available. So you will use two annotations now. One is steps and one is step. So when you are in the step definition, use steps and when we will implement these steps, we will use step library. Don't worry, don't get confused. I will show you one by one. Just allow me a couple of minutes. So we are telling Serenity that yes, we have two pages, home page and dashboard pages. And these are the two steps. Now let's go back to the home page and let's write the methods. 
So in the home page, basically I want to make, um, you know, username, password and click on login button. So I will create some methods within this home page that I will refer in the step definition. So the first method which I want to write here, public void, uh, let's say open application. Okay. That is one method. Oh, uh, sorry. Just a second. Yeah. Second method which I want to write enter username password and click on login button. So I will not take much time. I will just copy paste them here. I will say enter username enter password and this I will say click on login button. Now here you need to tell Serenity that each and everything is a step. This is also a step and this step is a library which you can import okay so just keep everything as a step here now what is happening within this steps that also we need to tell right so for this again we are going to deal with two more pages so i'm going to create one uh, actual page which is orange hrm page and same thing we will do for dashboard as well it's clear now so what I did I will just give you one uh, again a small recap we created a small feature file we executed we got glue code okay we implemented or we imported this uh, annotations now we are dealing with two pages so I have created two classes and these two classes we have annotated with address steps now each page will have some functionality right so I'm just in this page I just want to make four steps uh, open application entry username password and login button same thing i will do for now dashboard page so i will go back here in the dashboard page i will simply say that i want to verify the dashboard so here i will write only one method called public void uh, verify uh, admin login let us say verify admin this also is the, one of the step so i will mention this is a step and let's implement so skeleton is ready but where is the actual locators that we need to write right so here in go to each pages and uh, I'm going to create one page called orange HRM home page in the same pages package I will say orange HRM home page and I will create one more page called orange HRM dashboard page. Okay. Now these pages will have the actual locators, actual values. Okay. And these classes will actually extend the page object class. Okay. So this thing we have already mentioned in my previous videos, page object class. So we are going to use the same page uh, object class which is coming from uh, Serenity Framework. Okay. Okay. So finally, let's go ahead and write locators, whatever activity you want. This will have the main part. Okay. So first of all, I will extend the page object class which is coming from Serenity. So page object. Once import is done, now you can go ahead and create methods. So the first method which I will write called username or I will say this enter uname. So now I, let's identify this. So this is having one ID called text username. So if, if you want to do any operation, we have seen we have type method, right? And if you want to find out that element, generally, if you go with a standard selling library, we say driver.find element uh, by ID and we say dot uh, send case, right? But this we have seen that if you use dollar, you don't need to do driver.find element. You just say dollar by ID and you just say which ID you want to use and you can use type method now which is coming from serenity and i will say 
username is admin it's capital a okay now the second step we need to enter password so i will again create a method called enter password you can give any name guys i'm just giving some meaningful name and here what id i want i want password id guys i'm taking id but if you want to use css xpath any other locator feel free to use that i'm just entering the password now and i have to click on the login button or if i click on hit enter that is also fine so i will say public void enter or click login button so i will just copy paste and let's see do we have a specific id for the login yes we have btn login and this i will say dot click clear now this is coming from like all these dollars all these methods are coming from page of guys. same thing we need to do for dashboard right for dashboard we don't have actually much so i'm just going to create only one uh, method public void login verified and here i can use assert command and i can use hamcrust library which is coming here it's up to you which um, assertion you want to use so let's say i want to print as of now the title just to check so i need the driver right i want driver dot get title then only i can uh, capture the title or the url so if we extend the page object class extends page object and if i simply say get driver i will get the driver which is currently is in running mode okay i will capture the current url or the current title and i will print that once you get you can verify using testng or junit or the hamcrest and i will simply get the title and print as of now now we are done we just need to now call these methods in the respective pages so let's go back to the home page so i will tell that we have one orange hrm home page home page and in the home page first of all i need to open the application so if you just type dot open it will open the application now you must be wondering that we have not written this open method because we have written these these four methods only right uh, if you go back to the home page we have written enter username password click on login but how this open method is coming so guys this open method is coming from again uh, from the page object okay if you want to see let it download the source code and the documentation yeah now if you go back just check so what this open method will do this open method will open the web driver browser to the base url so whatever base url we will give it will open that particular browser which is default as of now chrome it will open the default url which you mentioned now in the enter username uh, we can use this home page dot enter username uname right this is what we have created now same thing we will do for password home page dot enter password and for click on login button again we have home page dot click on login so these three methods which we created in the home page okay we are just calling here and each method is annotated with at the this step same thing we'll do for dashboard so this is just one method so we'll go to dashboard page 
and I will say that we have an orange HRM dashboard. I will call this as dash BORD dashboard. And I don't need to call any open method because it is already um, the driver is instantiated. So I can continue with the dashboard and I will say login verified, which we have created here. Now we are good to go. So now if I run this step definition, it should work. But what about this? Because right now it is blank, right? So we need to actually tell. Okay, this open application we will call. Then we will call home dot enter username home dot enter password and home dot click on login button and then you should be able to log in so this is actually coming from dashboard right so I will call dash and you can see verify admin okay so now we are done so ultimately this class uh, which is nothing but a step definition is going to deal with two pages home page dashboard four methods okay annotated with given when and then then and finally we're calling let's create now step definition uh, step definition created let's create the test runner so the test runner is already here guys which is nothing but your test suite so if I remove this one search by keyword which we don't need now so what exactly this uh, test runner is saying that we want to run feature file which is available under features folder okay so if we just run this test runner it is going to start your application which is on HRM and it will just log in and verify that. Okay, we did a small mistake, guys. By default, it is taking the default URL, right? So this got failed. So what we need, we just need to keep this URL in the config file. So we'll go back to the project explorer, go to config, and you can see here we need to make changes now it is taking the base URL and now it will continue so let's run this test suite again JUnit test and you will see it should continue now it started orange HRM it will enter admin admin123 click on login and yes it went to the dashboard and in the dashboard we have actually captured the title right so let's see okay so there are so many logs so the title we will not see that's fine it will be orange hrm that is done and uh, if you open this part, we have one feature and one scenario. We are done now. Now let's run the same thing with Maven. Then only we'll get the report. So in the pom.xml, go back to pom.xml editor and if you see this part that include any file okay, with these uh, regular expressions. So you can see I just want to run which is ending with dot test feed. So you can see this one. So if you don't want this, you can remove them. Ultimately, we are saying that run any Java file, okay, which is starting with anything. Okay. So this is the actually package guys, and this is a file. Take any package, take any class, it should end with test feed dot java, which is nothing but this. So in our case, we have removed the other include parts. Now it is only one include. So now I will go back to terminal. 
and again I will say MVN clean verify so same thing we are running but with maven maven will scan pom.xml file pom.xml file we have given that we want to run test suite the test suite will run the features files which we have as of now we have only one feature file which is login to orange hrm start it and it will continue as it is so I will uh, draw a small diagram so that you should not get confused because uh, when you create two different pages for the same activity you will get confused okay but it's very easy if you see in a big picture and all the four steps are done all are green test executed successfully 20 seconds and we'll see the report now so let's right click refresh go to target folder and go to site serenity and just search for index.html file open this in a browser so first of all it says login to hrm so let's verify this so if you open this particular feature file which says feature is login to hrm which is here open this okay right now we have only one scenario which is login with valid credential which is here and these are the four steps and if you go to test results okay so you can see one uh, two screenshot for the third step because here we have two steps that is what i want to highlight here since you have only one one step here so you can see one one screenshot but if you see this particular um, you know step has two steps so let me go back to eclipse and i will show you go to step definition log into application yeah this part so enter password is one step click on login is also one extra step that we are calling here right so you can see you will find two screenshot for each step and finally you will see user is able to log in and this is the dashboard page so it's very easy it is just you need to understand the navigations and this is what the hierarchy so search this is your search and this login to application it actually um, taken this as a feature and it created a folder which is login to hrm which has the scenarios awesome right so this is how it works uh, i know it's quite lengthy video but it was required because this is how end to end uh, you can create your test scenarios with cucumber and you can run fine so if you want i can give you uh, just a small diagram that first of all we are going to write a feature file this feature file as usual will have scenarios so once you run this you will get the glue code then we will write a step definition Now in the step definitions, you need to mention the steps library, steps, okay. So let's say if you're dealing with four pages, you can include four step. So right now in our case, we are dealing with two pages, so we have included two step. Now for each step, okay, let's say this is home and dashboard, we created separate Java classes. So this is for home page and this is for dashboard page and here you will write the actual steps how many steps you have so add the red step add the red step here and the actual uh, 
locators and the methods we will write in a plain java file and these pages will extend this page and this page also extend page object class which is coming from serenity I hope it is clear now so please give a try just uh, follow the exact same tutorial which I have mentioned and you will be able to run your test once you are able to run this login scenario you can automate any scenario of your choice okay rest of the cucumber concept will remain same it is just now we have integrated with serenity if possible I will export this and um, I will give you as a zip file you can import and directly use it but I want you to try from your site okay and in case if you want to give a try, try to extend this login.feature file, add one more scenario or in the same scenario you can continue that after login if you user is uh, clicking on welcome and logout, user should be able to log out. In that case you can create one more page okay, which is logout page, add locators and you can extend this uh, step definition with logout step as well. Take this as assignment because the moment you start writing the assignment you will get so many questions uh, no, doubts that we can discuss either in the comment section or maybe via emails so that's all from my side guys if you have any other questions related to this feel free to ask in the comment section and if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye